Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. What are we doing over at the water club besides looking at the fishies? Well, I was thinking about the whole missed dialogue thing, and what if we miss dialogue in the remaining clubs that we haven't cleared out because we beat the game? So I was thinking, let's go back to the remaining clubs and clear them out before we beat the game. <laughs> Plus, you know, I'll be able to get booster packs and stuff like that, which means extra cards to power up our decks further and stuff like that. So that just seems like a good idea in general for the end end game. Anyway, let's stop touching every tile in the room and talk to Sarah. Thanks to you, Mint, you finally made it out of that cage. You feel like dueling me with my new phone freedom? No. I guess you have your own freedom. Freedom to choose your opponents and check more dialogue. Or <laughs> I'd love to duel you sometime. Don't forget it. My freedom is boring if no one plays a Pokemon card game with me. I would like to have a duel with you, Mint. If it's no trouble, that is. Do you want to play? Okay, you convinced me. Um, let's do some prize cards. Sound good? Okay. Water fight deck is go go. And oh, maybe I shouldn't have used my hmm my water deck because my water deck. Probably a lot more powerful in her water deck, but uh, eh, we'll see how things go. I might, I might get horrendous draws for all we know. <laughs> and we get a heads. Will we get a head though? We shall see. With the bill. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna slap for sure. <laughs> I was expecting like a little bit more versatility instead of energy, but eh, okay, it's, it's fine. The energy will be fine. I could always evolve into Starmie, per se, and the tail did its duty, and I am unable to attack. Well, unless I evolve, but that, one <laughs> that is the other way to get around those sorts of abilities. And she probably gonna, I was oh really? I was gonna say she's probably gonna go for the quick attack. Because Staryu has kind of low HP in general. But, hmm. Alright. Star Freeze it is then. Go ahead, plop that on there. And. No paralysis. So she still could tail wag me into Doom since I'm not causing paralysis this turn. Or she'll switch. Maybe. Nope. And I, I, yeah, it's hard to call it a tail whip. It's more like a tail wag based on the animation. <laughs> In fact, it looks like it's wagging at itself or something. I don't know. Um, I guess we should go for the Articuno. Unfortunately, that is no go. So we're done. <laughs> and to Eevee, oh, not that Eevee. So <laughs> she, she still looks like. She's gonna stall with this EV as long as she can to power up all the other stuff. I, I guess that's her strategy. Maybe. Anyway, start freeze. <laughs> See how that goes. It went well, but, well, we don't really need the paralysis then. We needed it before. But the thing about it was, you know, it's a knockout. That's what went well. <laughs> and Poliwag is getting the water guns. Powered up buzz, as is the horsey, uh, probably. Uh, unless I cause paralysis, that would be pretty nice, uh, but anyway. <laughs> Star Freeze, let's go. Whew. Now, she's definitely gonna want to power up something else on the bench ahead of time. There we go. And. Wait, wait, what, what should I. Should I save this in case of potential Wiggly? Maybe? I don't know, I don't think I'm gonna need the Wiggly this game. I think I'll be just fine as is. <laughs> but the way things are uh, set up here, I mean, I got the Articuno, I've got the other Staryu for slapping, I've got Recovery with the Starmie here, uh, this is gonna be... it's gonna be pretty nice. You go ahead and kick that Koopa Shell over to me, I don't mind. I've got a lot of HP remaining. I also got Dugong here. <laughs> yeah, this is not looking good for her, I gotta say. <laughs> oh, definitely not, look <laughs> not looking good for her. So I got Paralysis out of that. 
which means she's kind of stuck on this turn. She may be stuck again on the next turn, depending on if I get another head flip. Uh, ooh. That, yeah, that might very well be game over in on itself. I mean, I don't want to discard the Wiggly, but... I may also get another Dugong. I may get a Dragonair, you know. There's, there's a lot of, lot of good cards in this deck. <laughs> As I said, I wasn't sure if I should actually use this. It might be a little OP uh, for the game's characters, you know? <laughs> I got a Dragonair. And yeah, let's go for the Star Freeze. That failed. But she'll just use the Turtle Attack of the Koopa on this. And I will use the Recoverness and probably get her angry. <laughs> Because, yeah, then she'll be down in HP curves, I guess you could say. So we'll do the recover, discard one energy, heal up all the en yep, all the HP, and call it a turn. So yeah, I'm just gonna knock out the Squirtle on the next turn, then we'll have 40 HP left instead of 10 HP left at the end of this, so... I might as well go Dragonair! <laughs> Start. Oh, all oh, right. That. Oh shoot. What, what am I doing? Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. <laughs> I kind of flopped that. That's fine. That's fine. That's uh, so oh, whatever. I got overconfidence. I could always just recover again if I wanted to. And Ooh, energy removal. That'll be nice for the future. Probably the Poliwag because of Water Gun. Pop that on there and we'll recover again. <laughs> sure, why not? Just kind of set ourselves back in the same position as we were before. That's why I said it was fine. Even if I was kind of attaching energy cards wildly to things that I didn't need to at the time. I should also probably use the other to keep that one down. And. I guess dump out the Dugong as well, and I guess the Starmie as well, everyone's fully evolved now. So we can Professor Oak, and, and, I was gonna say, do <laughs> you get no energy out of that? <laughs> I was expecting at least one energy, and that was about right. Now we can knock out that Squirtle, happily, and call it a... Duel. Well, almost a duel. I mean, <laughs> it's just that, you know, since we got the Hardakuno powered up on the side, we can always switch over to it to finish off whatever she has in play. So, yeah, it's kind of game over right now. <laughs> uh, especially if I cause paralysis, if I just leave Starmie and, you know, attack with it as is. Yeah, the water deck. A little bit on the powerful side. <laughs> Uh, I mean, a lot of these, these cards that make it powerful could be added to the other decks as well, but I just kind of corrugated them into this strategy for the deck, so... I think it's my ace deck. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I'm gonna go... Go for the power up the Dragonair and see what the Star Freeze holds. Yeah, that's gonna be... It's gonna be game there. <laughs> it would have been game even if I... On that turn, because I could have switched over to something else. Like, yeah, so... Yeah, I just wanted to see what was going on. So she's got a double evolution going on there. She's like, eh, it's over. I might as well dump out my hand for the fun of it. I even got, even got energy removal for insult to injury. <laughs> just, yeah, let's just go ahead and attack, finish the game, and then go on to the next opponent. Maybe I'll use the Fireweed deck to put myself at a disadvantage. I don't know. <laughs> just kind of make things interesting. I don't think it'll be that much of a disadvantage because I got the grass Pokemon and all. So that's how you beat the others. Mint, you're so strong. Thank you. Thank you. Sorta, of, kinda. I, I just, I don't know. Maybe I had better draws. Okay, maybe not. Honestly. <laughs> um. Yeah, the chances of me losing that was probably pretty slim because I got a lot of Ace Critters there. That's all. If you like challenge me again, come back to the Water Club. You're free to do as you like, of course. Uh, oh, no new dialogue. Alright, next opponent over here. Oh, you can add me to your list of potential opponents now. Want to know why? Yes, I am PLE! I can play now! I've got plenty of cards to play with now. 
Come on already, let's battle. No. Oh, well, what? You don't want to have to even a quick little duel with me? Ah, that's no use. I should just stop asking. Alright, swimming, playing card games. Oh, I'm having the time of my life. My, oh my. You are, are you here to challenge me to a card battle? Yes, you guilt me into it. Well, how's this? So you use four prize cards. I'd enjoy that. Big side deck, that is some dark shading for your hair, but that is okay. And let's see what the cards are holding for us. Well, we're already holding the cards, but I mean for a few Oh, I didn't switch to the fire well <laughs> Well well, we'll see how things go. For all I know, I'll sweep her very quickly and I'll just re you know rebattle her with a different deck. Um how about we go seal? and Jiggly on the side, because they both have the same amount of HP, but I can immediately start attacking with the seal, and maybe I'll end up with Dugong at the end of this? We shall see. But well, for now, I know I'm going to do that, regardless of what I draw with the bill, so I might as well. And yeah, headbutt. And there we go, two energy cards in two turns, potentially. I should say one energy card in two turns, potentially, because I already got the other one, excuse me. And Strange Beam is kind of kind of strange indeed. Y yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I'll just go ahead and plop that on there. And discard that, headbutt. And call it a turn. She does not seem happy with that outcome. Strange Beam is a coming once again, ah! Uh. But if I get an energy, ah, uh, the sweeping will be game over, ah. Uh. Yeah, no. So I can't really evolve the Dugong right away, because I won't be able to attack. So I'll just kind of leave it as a seal at the moment. Mm, that Kingler could be an issue, because <laughs> it has that powerful 80 attack. So he definitely should get something going soon, which I did. Um, I probably should plop that there. And I also probably should trade a Staryu for a Dratini to prepare for a potential Dragonair attack. But for now, it's Aurora Beam. And for all we know, we're just going to sweep her. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> it just just could end up being that way, depending on how this Kingler is able to power itself up. Because if it gets a Tails Flip, it's pretty much over with the salt water. Yeah, Tails Flip, yep, it's over. Because <laughs> the thing about that is it, it requires four energy cards with Double Edge Claw to attack with that. Salt water can give it that energy, but only if it flips heads. Other than that... It's too late, because I'm just going to knock it out on the next turn with Dugong. So she's going to have to switch it if she wants to be able to attack with it. Yeah, or, no, or not. Uh, ooh, oh, oh my. Oh dear. <laughs> Super energy removal will not be in her favor either. Uh, if I get another energy, that would be pretty nice, because I'm kind of lacking energy here. But other than that, yeah, it is looking like a, a total sweep again. Uh, with this deck, so yeah, I think I will replay her with a different deck. It's just looking... <laughs> wow! Wow! Because <laughs> yeah, it's just looking like this is... I'm, I'm in too good of a position. I got Professor Oak too, so there's my energy cards. Uh, but I don't really even need it at this point. I suppose I could do it anyway. <laughs> just see what we get out of it. Pop that on there, and yeah, let's just let's forget about the rest of the card and just see what we draw for the for the kicks, because we're gonna win this turn anyway. Okay. And Aurora Beam for the victory, and we yeah, we're definitely gonna rematch her. <laughs> the different that uh, just just way too easy. <laughs> God, I lost. Just go easy on me. I will, it's the minute. <laughs> Let's open the booster packs and see what we get. Oh, we got the the ditto with the morphingness, and you do. This is the thing that they said that you get with the extra EVs over at Ishihara's house, but it's uh, it's kind of random, so you might not actually be able to do that. Um, let's see what else we get here. Okay, 
Lost Isle booster pack, and I don't find they're useful in certain circumstances, but the discards are kind of ishy, kind of iffy. Well, that was fun. I'm glad to take you on again. But more importantly, thanks so much for getting my cards back. You're welcome. Uh, it was actually Ronald that brought you your cards back, but I guess we did free up the peeps. So, <laughs> anyway, we're gonna select the Fireweed deck and, oops, and replay her. So I mean, play card games, uh, no, 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 that was the same dialogue. How's this? We use four prize cards, I don't enjoy that, yeah, of course, four prize cards, it's always four prize cards with you. And, let's see what we hit. <clears throat> let's see what we get in the opening hand. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna be that much of a disadvantage if I start with a grass Pokemon. So I don't know, maybe it was pointless to replay her, because I think it's gonna be another another decent game <laughs> based on that opening hand, especially with the Professor Oak. Because at first we're gonna start with this, and we're gonna just you know, we're gonna do a little tackle. We're, just, we're gonna start with that tackle, and on the next turn, probably probably have to do another tackle because they're gonna use that fire energy for something else. Maybe, maybe. Oh. Wow, I was actually expecting to take some damage from that, but maybe not. Maybe not. Because yeah, there's yeah, it could cause the paralysis, but it may not it may do nothing, just like in general. She might have been better off using that spike cannon. Maybe. Maybe, I'm not sure. Um Actually, how do I wanna play this out? Cause do I wanna attack with the Bulbasaur this turn? That I have, or do I wanna? Because if I wanna attack with the Bulbasaur, I'd have to discard this and hope I get a Grass Energy with Professor Oak. Because my I, my idea is to not, you know, do as much damage to Cloyster as possible, and then finish it off with one of my backups. But I'm pretty sure one of my backups would be safe anyway. <laughs> Just like in general, you know. So I think I'm gonna go like this. And now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do some trickiness. We're gonna grab a dark Pokemon, any dark Pokemon, it doesn't matter. Because what we can do is use Pokemon Trader to trade it back in the deck, now that we have another Pokemon, to grab something else, like say a Magmar, maybe? Actually, I'm not sure if that's the best idea. I was thinking the Scyther, because remember the Magmar is double damage, or I mean weak against water type Pokemon. So we're gonna do that. And Professor Oak, we're doing a lot of stuff on our turn here. <laughs> we already attached our energy card though, so we're kind of locked into that hungry Snorlax. And now we have plenty of the energies. And yeah, even if Cloyster manages to... Well, I was going to say, well, if it causes paralysis, it'll be able to knock out my um, Bulbasaur. I was going to say, even if it gets heads, but no, it, it would cause paralysis then. So, my bad on that, but I've got another Bulbasaur waiting there, or I can just finish it off with this Bulbasaur, or just switch into the other Bulbasaur, depending on what is the best move at the time. And that did squat. Yeah, I think she should be going Spike Cannon. Because I'm going to retreat into the other Bulbasaur, plop that on there, and doesn't this Ivy, oops, doesn't this Ivysaur um, have... Yeah, I don't think I should do that. I think I should just Razor Leaf because of the uh, lower attack power with two energy cards. So, I mean, yeah, it would recover HP if Bulbasaur is already hurting, but it's not. So, we should go with the Razor Leaf. <laughs> and yeah, the Krabby can only guillotine up to 30, so that's another factor. Plop that on there. And... Yeah, let's go for that Vine Whip for the game. Yeah, it's just... I guess it was not meant to be with her, now was it? <laughs> Even with Fire Critters... It's just it's no match. <laughs> Assault Booster Pack. And Raichu... Should I... Battler one more time. I don't know. That just seems excessive. <laughs> mm. ah, fine, I'll try it one more time. 
Rose. <laughs> this is your last chance, Missy. <laughs> oh, jeez. We could, we could go to the third opponent, but no, I... I, <laughs> I keep giving her too many chances. And you know, I, I actually can attack with Bulbasaur, even if I don't have grass with it. Because it requires colorless. So, ooh, that's actually... Hmm... That's an interesting scenario. Okay, so I got two energy cards. But, okay, but Bulbasaur here requires two grass. But I can attack for ten with the tackle, so I won't be doing thirty on the next turn, no matter what, because of the fire. Got it? But this Charmander, now that can do 30. So would I be better off letting the Bulbasaur get knocked out? And just going over to the Charmander? Or should I hope for some energies? I'm thinking I should hope for some energies, like for the future. We'll see. <laughs> At least he's got some bench Pokemon this time. I mean, maybe this will just end up being a better duel in general, too. <laughs> This result, I don't know. I don't know. Alright, so I got another fire. Do have a Charmander. And I could always um, Pokemon Trader into Charmeleon or Dark Charmeleon if I want to as well. Which could very well be game over too, because I don't I'm not sure if she'd be able to do enough damage to Charmeleon with its 80 HP like quick enough. Uh, ooh, double colorless. That's always nice to see. But Still can attack with a Charmeleon anyway, because I can't switch into it. So, we shall just call that a turn. And you're not getting your bubble this time. Well, you did get your bubble, but it didn't really do the amount of damage that you were hoping for. So, yeah, we're gonna Pokemon Trader. Charizard into that Charmeleon of the regular variety. There we go, it has more HP. What? <laughs> Why did I do that? <laughs> there we go, and... Slash, not Flamethrower, because Flamethrower requires the energy discard. Alright. And the Star U is going. I don't know why she has two energy on the Star U, unless she was expecting a Star Me. Gonna not try and knock out the Bulbasaur? Yeah. You can, you can do that if you want to. I was actually more concerned about Charmeleon having some damage taken to it anyway, more than anything. So, that actually saved me a little bit of ire in that regard. Um, I wonder if I should just go for the sweep. Like, just put everything on Charmeleon and just flamethrower everything to to Faint Town, you know? <laughs> See, actually, I won't have to do that with the Tentacool because it's got 30 HP. So yeah, it's only going to be aciding for 20. Yeah, I can just slash and then... Slash some more, or if she puts out the other tentacool, or whatever. <laughs> yeah, I think we're in pretty good shape here. Yeah, I, I, I just don't think he was meant to be to have a good duel with her, I swear. Oh, she, she even put in the tentacool. Why would you... Like, why wouldn't you want to at least waste me energy cards? Or don't you have any energy either? Yeah, you must not have energy for the shelter. Like that, hmm? Yeah, I guess that was that really was their best move then. Man! I I give up giving her chances. <laughs> I beat it three times in like nine minutes. <laughs> God, I lost. Who's going to. Oh, jeez. I don't know if I could go any easier than using a deck that you. But you should have an advantage over. <laughs> and I lost all booster pack. And what do we get? Oh, the smock. It stops the power of all Pokemon powers. That's a pretty powerful power, I've got to say. So you might want to consider that. You might want to consider putting that in any deck, actually. Like even if you can't power up its sludge attack. You still might want to just keep it on the bench, like say Aerodactyl with its prehistoric power to, pre to prevent evolution. It's one of those sorts of Pokémon that you could just splash in there, uh, just to kind of offset your opponent's strategy. And anyway, let's continue on. The oh, this isn't the Aerodactyl I was talking about. There, what kind of Aerodactyl I was talking about is the one like Steve got. 
uh, you know, in his Grandmaster Mysterious Legendary Fossil Tech. <laughs> I know, it's, anyway, yeah. Um, that's got confusion and it could do, I mean, it, it does a swoop dive for 40, but, uh, uh, it, I, I would definitely play the original Aerodactyl over this. I mean, the, the original Aerodactyl's prehistoric power is ridiculously good. And, alright. Well, it was fun. Uh, uh, I, I do too, but I, I'm surprised you, you didn't mind me beating you that quickly three times. <laughs> well, with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part after I bathe in the shade of the umbrella. Yeah, the, the light is coming from the right side, but you just can't tell. It's the graphical limitations of the system.